afternoon. <laughs> Number 485. Yes, dear. Here you are. Have you filled out your forms? I have, love. Did you take the correct forms in the corresponding colours? Yes, I did, dear. I have a numbered ticket of which number you have just called out. <laughs> I filled out a form from the red section and I sat in the blue section. <laughs> I've done everything you asked me to do. <laughs> now, could someone please fix my bastard taps? <laughs> Mrs Taylor, we've processed all your forms and I'm afraid to say that, unfortunately, it is not a priority case. Not a priority case? I'm 75 years old. Nonetheless, you're in good health. You live alone. What's you talking about? My granddaughter Alice lives with me now. So you have another person to help you around the house? Well, she's no help. She's useless. <laughs> <laughs> and blind. <laughs> blind. No. <laughs> Say hello, Alice. Poor blind Alice. <laughs> what? Just say hello. In front of you is a spinster. <laughs> what smells of cats and loneliness. <laughs> Who wants to help us? Hello. <laughs> She's not blind. She is. Why is she holding a book? That's mine. <laughs> Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. You're reading that? Yes, I am. It's perfectly paced with electrifying moments that chase each other like heartbeats. <laughs> the New York Times. She's not blind, Mrs. Taylor. We can all see she's not blind. Well, she can't. <laughs> you, Mrs Taylor, that impersonating someone with a disability is a crime. You calling her a liar? <laughs> My poor, blind Ginger Alice? <laughs> there is no way this girl is blind. Of course she's blind. If she weren't blind, she'd duck. <laughs> Now, Alice, you don't believe us. Turn behind your back. Yeah, all right, I'm coming. Oh, I suppose this means I've got to clean out the carsies now, does it? <laughs> Come on, Alice, we're off. No, really, I can't see. Oh, don't take the piss, love. 